G'day folks. Oh, welcome to a nice warm Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> it's nice and very warm outside actually and it's going to be about 30 something tomorrow, 35, 36. So we're getting hotter again. Um, yeah. I guess I'd like to thank everyone who showed up for the um, live stream. That was fantastic fun. Uh, big thanks to Alex and Alex from 993CC1 and uh, Jeff from Tower Flattermouse for joining the uh, live stream as well. Um, I'll post both their channels in the description in case you didn't work out who they are. Um, Jeff does tons of good slow motion videos, everything from slow motion mercury uh, experiments, like with the metal mercury. Um, shotgun, strange shotgun loads like putting AA battery or something in the shotgun shell and shooting it at things. Um, also with slow motion impacts and stuff like that. Shooting silly putty at a small television. Apparently you can weaponize silly putty, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and uh, Alex is a bit of a scraphead like me. He drives crane, tu crane trucks and things for a living, so naturally he gets to pick up some goodies. Um, does a lot of, is doing a lot of high voltage stuff at the moment with uh, push-pull drivers and open-ended drivers and other things like that, flybacks, that sort of stuff. So yeah, his channel's well worth looking at too. I'll post in the description. Um, likewise, I've got some stuff on the way from a subscriber in the UK, uh, Quad Xeon 2 gigahertz server equipment. Like no casing, but it's basically the guts to build a Quad Xeon server. Uh, I've done a bit of research on them, and they're a pretty beefy little system. Um, they don't support any. They don't support like a PCIe graphics card, which is unfortunate. I'm um, just wondering what sort of computing power you could expect out of it, whether it would actually be good for video editing. I mean, four CPUs, if I can get software that will take advantage of four 2 gigahertz uh, Xeon CPUs, uh, it should have a bit of power. If not, it would probably just become a file server for the house, even though it runs two 600 watt AT ATX power supplies, so it's a bit of a power bill when it's running. Uh, either way, that would be a bit of fun to build a custom enclosure and that sort of thing. I'll maybe gut an old air conditioner or something like that and make it look like an air conditioner, who knows, we'll come up with something crazy. So yeah, that's all good. Likewise, I got a, uh, another little toy in the mail today. As you can see, I'm also finishing this off. I want to get it out of the way and I figure if I don't finish it now, it'll just sit half finished again for a while. So I've got it all broken down. I'm putting proper exhaust gaskets and things on it. I'll, they're just temporary ones, but I'm ordering in gaskets and stuff and I'll just give the whole thing a good clean up, spruce up, new control panel, my own custom control panel, and uh, yeah, it'll be a nice runner. It does blow a, a bit of unburnt fuel out when it's running at idle, so I don't know if that's injector or pump related, but once I've burnt all the carbon and shit out of the exhaust, we'll see how well it performs. Uh, if it's still over fueling, well, it might be good for top end lubrication, but it's gonna smoke like crazy under full load. Apparently that's a bit of an issue with these. So I might be looking at replacing the injector and pump if I can get a cheap one. But yeah, new goodie came. Um, not that one. I did try that on 12 volts, the little Corel controller, and it does work. So I can install that in the car. That'll be uh, monitoring probably radiator temperature or something like that, because the temperature gauge on the car doesn't work very well. I don't think it's a sender either. I think it's actually the gauge. So I'll be putting a proper digital readout on it, because the temperature sensor goes up to 105. And I've only got like an 86 degree thermostat in it, so if it goes up to 105, it's telling me I'm, I'm in trouble. As you can see, nice. This was 130 bucks off eBay. It's giant, it's Chinese, a lot of them are. I don't have 800 bucks to buy a really, really high-end one, just for hobby use. But we'll see how well this goes. It's got its own lab power supply built in, 0 to 15 volts. It's got the soldering iron, it's got the hot air blow gun, it's got pretty much everything. There's all the nozzles for the hot air gun various leads for the um, lab power supply yeah three digital readouts on it the lot so I'll do a video setting this one up when I uh, find a spot for it to live I want to move a heap of stuff over the back there where the um, old parts dryer convection microwave was or is and turn that into my little uh, electronics corner because this is all going to be generally mechanics all the PCBs and things will go into uh, lined tubs as someone suggested lining the tubs with alfoil perhaps get rid of any electrostatic discharge um, yeah it's that one that's a, a spare heating element for the soldering iron yeah it's pretty good 
It's got a Heiko soldering iron, so that's a good sign. And that's a hot air gun down there. That's very nice. Not bad for 130 bucks, I mean, I could do a lot worse. A decent, good quality soldering iron's about 40, so yeah, this came, came off eBay. Hmm. Anyway, what am I going to do next? I think I'll move this a bit and uh, have a bit more of a tidy up. I was sorting out nuts and bolts and just getting this area clear again. Oh, oh and I want to put a new lead on this. That was just a freebie from the junkyard, so I'll um, replace the lead, which has been half eaten by rats. It's got nibble marks all the way through it. And uh, see if it works, because I need another good battery charger, especially an auto automatic switching one. So it's 5.4 amps at 12 volts. It also has an engine start mode which just dumps pat dumps charge into the battery for a little while and then you can crank it. So that's kind of neat. It doesn't look like it's been used in ages and I'd say because they found that the rats have been chewing all over it, they just piffed everything. Probably cleaning out grandpa's old shed or something and yeah, I bet you that still works. So anyway, thanks for watching, stay tuned for more. I'll try and dig up some more of the um, chiller autopsy videos because there's pieces of those all over the hard drive at the moment. I did them in random sections, especially on Saturday when I was also planning the live stream, so there's a bit to that to go. Anyway, yeah, I'll do some mods to the casing too. I'm going to cut some big holes in it, just let air through and put mesh over them. No more letting it cook and suffocate in there. Thanks for watching.